this is part two of a three part tutorial giving guidance on how to reskin assets for the UK Trainsim freeware packs. So in this part of the tutorial we'll be looking at how we extract the images from the texture files so that we can edit them using GIMP. We're going to use two free tools to do this. The first one is RS Bin Tool. So let's start up RS Bin Tool. This was created by uh, Ben Laws and is, uh, can be downloaded from the UKTS website. So we select the open button and now we need to find the cloned asset that we um, created in part one of the tutorial. So we go to assets, then we need to find UKTS FP, which is our developer folder, housing is our product folder, JN is my unique ID, and then quickly through the last folders and inside the textures folder we can see <coughs> five files that we're able to edit. Many of the assets um, that you can reskin have multiple textures. Here we have the main texture, a SM file ending in SM is a shadow map. We have a winter texture and we have one for some windows and then again uh, a, the actual shadow. So the main texture we want to work with is the um, texture uh, without any extra additional ending. Uh, for the um, asset packs um, it's important that every asset has a, uh, uh, a minimum of a summer and winter texture. If you also include a night texture then that's uh, uh, certainly um, recommended but not a requirement. So let's open up that main texture. So as you can see there, that's the uh, semi-detached house that we're going to be reskinning. And what we need to do is export that data into DDS format, which is something that can then be opened up in GIMP. So we select DDS tool, export DDS data, and then we just need to give that texture a name, I'm going to call it original and press save and it says data has been exported successfully. So if we minimize RS bin tool we're now going to launch GIMP which is a free tool to edit DDS files in GIMP you need a free plugin uh, uh, the DDS plugin you can find out where you can get hold of these programs in the um, guide. Um, in section 7.2 of the guide we've got links to all the software that you need um, and that's been used in this video tutorial. So let's launch uh, GIMP and get started with editing our texture. So we have GIMP up and running now what we're going to do <coughs> is open the um, DDS file we just exported. So file, open. Again, I find the quickest way to get to the right folder is to simply copy that path. And then we're going to paste that path into the GIMP open dialog. And if I just press enter, we can now find our DDS file ready to open. When you open uh, a DDS file, <coughs> GIMP will ask you whether you want to load mipmaps or not. Do not load mipmaps. So there's our texture file ready for editing. Now normally you'd obviously you'd apply um, brickwork or stonework or whatever you want to do for that reskin. For this demonstration purpose, I'm simply going to draw on the side of the building. We're going to add a little bit of graffiti. Okay, now we need to save that file <coughs> back to a new DDS file. So we go File, Save As. And I'm going to call it reskin.dds. 
So just entered that name in the top box there. So we press save. And when you do this, GIMP will bring up a dialog box asking you what format and compression you want to use for the DDS file. We can find out the settings we need using RS bin tool. So if you look down here in RS bin tool, it tells us the compression is DXT1. So if we bring GIMP back up again, here is DXT1. It's also important that you do generate mipmaps when you ex export your uh, or save, excuse me, save your um, DDS file. Click OK, um, and if we go and look at our um, folder, we can see we now have our reskin DDS file. The final part of this tutorial is how you put that new DDS file back into our original TG PCDX texture file. Again, this is where the free tool, free RS bin tool comes to our rescue. To import the texture, we simply select DDS tool, import DDS data, select our new image, and then choose open. It says data successfully imported, and as you can see from the preview, you can see uh, my graffiti on the wall. Before we close RS bin tool, we need to save that texture file. There's a little star by the name of the file, which means it's been edited and not saved. So all we do is we hit the save icon, or press Control S. <clears throat> That's now saved our updated texture. That's the end of part two of this three-part tutorial.